So I started to learn how to drive back in the mid 2000s and gas prices were just going through the roof and it was my first experience with major inflation. Obviously if you listen to the consumer price index they'll say we didn't have inflation uh, but it was my first touch with inflation and around the same time I was going to college and um, I would walk by a professor's office and they would throw out a ton of stuff all the time. Old books, um, things that, uh, you know, some personal items that they no longer wanted. And I would just take it home. I, some, a lot of that stuff I didn't even have a use for. I just knew that our currency was losing money and I needed something hard, right? So the professors would throw out an old laptop or an old uh, battery, right? Uh, under, if I remember correctly, I collected a lot of those uninterrupted power supplies and of old CD-ROMs. You name it, I would take it home. And then I moved out of my parents' home into an apartment in Rochester, New York. Now this, is a, this apartment is full of students from nearby RIT and Rochester, uh, University of Rochester. And a lot of students would throw out old furniture and uh, couches, tables, chairs, I would take them all into my apartment because I thought that was real wealth. Everything else was just fake. And eventually I had an apartment full of sofas, chairs and tables, but nowhere to sit. It was packed floor to ceiling, wall to wall. My dad was so upset and I wanted to keep it, but eventually I wanted to downsize. So I got rid of a lot of that stuff. Anyway, anyway it was just a weird chapter in my life. Uh, we were going through the financial crisis. I hoarded a lot of other stuff too, don't get me wrong. But I just got into this hoarding mentality. So here we are in 2021. And um, my favorite baking chocolate. Coconut oil, obviously. Um, I haven't been going out very much though. There's a fear that I have. I have, um, I, three years ago a friend of mine passed away. He, um had drug addiction problems and the reason he started using drugs was that he got injured playing sports and he took painkillers and eventually he switched over to heroin and ever since then I've been fearful that if I get injured in a car accident in some sort of accident um, or uh, here in Phoenix it's especially hot if I get some kind of heat stroke or get, to, get incapacitated that people are going to give me painkillers or something that I might get addicted to and especially here in 2021 there's another substance that I'm worried that people are going to give me not necessarily addictive but uh, an ex experimental drug anyway um, so I've been trying to hoard stuff to avoid going out uh, some canned food uh, my favorite soy candle and a bunch of colored pencils so I can make my own personalized fiat currency right